The death toll in the United States now tops 12,000. Americans are struggling to make sense of a death toll that's climbed to nearly 100,000 over just three months. Data has been an incredibly important part of trying to understand the coronavirus pandemic and trying to figure out how we can respond to it. When we're thinking about what data is most informative in this pandemic crisis, our eyes are really on what's happening with the death data. Deaths that are happening today are a reflection of how the virus was spreading two or three weeks ago. That's why it's really important to pair death data with confirmed cases and whether or not those are going up or going down. The data predictions and models that started in early March, um, particularly in the United States, have not come true quite yet. The early estimates were one to two million deaths in the United States. Once modeling incorporated the potential impact of social distancing, those predicted death counts went down dramatically to something closer to 60 or 80,000. We're now seeing the U.S. exceed those anticipated numbers in part because social distancing has not been as uniform as the models had relied on for their predictions. I hope that the public will understand how important using data to inform our public health decision making is and how critical it is to pay attention to letting the data guide our public health decision making.